Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about Wild Nights, Wild Nights, by Emily Dickinson. Now, before we go into this uh, summary and analysis of this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, so that the channel can continue to grow. So, Wild Nights, Wild Nights, a very interesting poem here, um, lots of things are happening. Now, when you read this poem, when you try to analyze and interpret this poem right away, you know, most people will say that it's about sex, that, you know, it's just, you know, Emily Dickinson writing about that, um, that this poem is all about the physical. Um, I, I can understand where you get that from. I mean, it starts with wild nights, wild nights. I mean, you know, you put those words together um, and your mind will pretty much you know, come to the conclusion that she's talking about, uh, you know, the physical experience. Um, but, but, but there's more to the poem. There's more we can take from this poem. She also talks about the sea, you know, done with the compass, done with the map. I mean, you know, think about that. Think about the things that she says she's done with. Now, we can take her mentioning the sea and the compass and the map as, um, you know, these two individuals were separated they were far away from each other because, you know, when sailors go out to sea, they usually leave their lovers behind and they, uh, eventually they have to come back to them. Um, so in the same way, um, you know, here in this poem, these two lovers were separated. They were apart uh, and now they want to come back together. So like there's longing, there's intense desire, passion, longing within this poem. It's like, you know, when I finally get you, I'm going to tear you to limbs you know, you're going to be, you know, I'm going to tear you into pieces and these nights will be wild. Now, uh, they could be nights of adventure. Um, you know, you know, we're bringing this love, this intense love is vast, just like the wilderness, the marsh. It's vast. It's it's wild. It's it's a love that's intoxicating. That's 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 passionate. That's that's relentless. And, you know, when you've truly been in love with somebody, you know, you can't stand to to be away from them. You can't stand um, to 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 not be with them. You want to be one with them. You want to experience the world through their eyes. Um, and this this poem here is so passionate, so aggressive in love. It's intense. I mean, um you know, in, in the Bible, you know, there's the book of Song of Solomon. And in Song of Solomon, there's two lovers talking about love and closeness. Um, and um, it's all so intense and passionate and relentless. Like uh, loving somebody so relentlessly that it's aggressive. Um, that's how aggressive uh, this poem is. And, and again... You know, the speaker here doesn't care about storms or tempests or how belligerent or how aggressive the storms at sea or the problems of life may be. Because as soon as they meet again, as soon as these two lovers meet again, it's all going to be wild nights. And again, I get it. I get why some people think that this is about sex because, well, the, you know, the passion, desire, the love, the romance, the intensity um, is, is, is a lot, all right? It's a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's the poem by Emily Dickinson. Very interesting poem. Uh, again, uh, it's, it's, it's passion, it's desire, it's, it's wanting to be something greater, something bigger, something more intense. I mean, we can even say that this is even spiritual in some sense um, because... Um, this longing is something that, that surpasses the physical um, because the speaker and the speaker's lover uh, is, um, you know, two beings that, um, that um, you know, that want to transcend, uh, you know, their love for each other is, is, is revolutionary, basically. So it, it pretty much leaves this world behind and enters the spiritual. Uh, so that's my summary analysis of this poem. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.